Good morning, everybody. I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we have a video. It is something that I'm passionate about, so that's probably going to come, uh, come across in this video. It is going to answer the question, giving you my answer of how do I price my rabbit? How do I price my hand spun yarn? It comes down to values, right? You have to know what do you value. Okay, when you're pricing an item, you need to know do you value your knowledge? Do you have a knowledge base? What is your knowledge base? Do you think you have a really good knowledge base? Do you have a lot of experience? Do you have a lot of experience in the field that you're in and the item that you're pricing? Okay, do you value your time? Now time and money are the exact same thing. You can build your business by spending more money on things such as Facebook advertisements, uh, Pinterest advertisements, you can spend more money on advertisements, you can spend more money buying tools faster, right? That cuts down on time. The more time you have, the more time you have invested in building your knowledge base of your product, the more time you have invested in building your experiences, the more time in building your library of what you have internally, what you can bring to your craft, the more that that's worth, the more monetarily that is worth. But values, it comes down to values, okay? Do you value yourself? We are not big, big box stores. We are handmade artists. We are handmade uh, artisans. We, we have a craft. Our craft takes time, it takes knowledge, it takes effort, it takes money, it takes experience. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people They'll take a look and they'll say, okay, I'm going on Etsy and I can see that this item, Widget Little A, is listed for $2. Oh no, how am I ever gonna make that for $2? If you can't make it for $2, you can't make it for $2, stop competing on price. The price of your item is based on your quality, your knowledge, your experience, your effort, what you do and put into that item. Handmade items, they're all unique. Don't devalue yourself. When you have that rabbit in front of you and you know it's a good rabbit, based on what you're breeding for, don't just cut the price. There's no need. There's a buyer out there who will buy your rabbit. You may have to do some advertising to get to them. You may have to do some building of your business to be big enough to get and have the reach to get to the population who will begin buying your rabbits. It's the same thing with your crafts, okay? Same thing, I used to say rabbits, but crafts, it's all, it's all interchangeable. So when you're pricing your items, you may be, for example, you may have experienced this, or you're wondering how to handle this, because this is likely gonna happen. At a craft show, at a fiber event, at a fur and feather swap place to sell your rabbits, whatever, you will be publicly in a place. You will have your items, your wares, your rabbit, your whatever. You will be in a place, and the public then because you're in public, you're selling your item in the public, the public has a right to judge your item. The public, as, as, as uh, buyers everywhere, we have the right to say what it is worth to us, okay? I will pay a different price for something that's like a handmade, hand-spun, hand-raised, hand-dyed, angora scarf than somebody who, for example, has no interest in Angora and has no respect for the amount of time and the craftsmanship that it takes to get to that item. Now know your customers. Because somebody who does not respect a handmade item isn't your customer, don't waste your time. Somebody in, a, in an event where you have your sale, your, your wares for sale in public, someone will come up to you at some point and say, why is your rabbit $300? Okay, right? Don't get mad. Don't, the, your first response may be, what? Why is my rabbit $300? My rabbit should be $600, right? Like, do you know how much it takes to get into this rabbit? Do you know the history of this rabbit? This rabbit is gold on four legs. That's what this rabbit is. And it's got ears. So you're lucky. Have you seen gold with, with two ears? No, you have not, right? So you're going to set your price based upon what you believe your item to be worth based on all sorts of these factors that we've just talked about. And you're going to set your price and now you're going to open yourself up to criticism. All sorts of criticism. And understand that's part of having a shop. That's part of being an artist. That's part of raising rabbits. That's part of crocheting. That's part of knitting. That's part of making yarn. In this world that we live in, that is part of it. And that's hard because a lot of people, especially people my age or younger, have grown up 
and they have Facebook, right? And they have YouTube, and they have Pinterest. These curated platforms where we can pick and choose what we see and who we see. We don't like a comment on Facebook, we just delete it. We don't like a comment on YouTube, we just delete it. We can curate our life. When you are in person and you set a price on your item, a value for your item, and someone's in person with you, you cannot hit the delete button. They won't just go away. You can tell them to go away, they might stay. And people are either gonna value the information you just told them, and therefore value your product and understand it, and understand why it is, the, it is worth this, or they're gonna walk away. So I don't know if some of you have had this experience. I've had this experience so many times, it always makes me laugh. Somebody comes into your booth, like I'll be sitting there and I'm spinning, right? And I'm doing my thing and I'm spinning. I watch somebody out of the corner of my eye, hello, I tell them. They come in, come into my booth, they run out. <laughs> $15 for an ounce of yarn. Oh honey, you're lucky. <laughs> Next week it's gonna be 20, just kidding. <laughs> but, but really, Know your customers, know your consumers. Not everybody is right for your product. Understand that. We are not a big box store. We are handmade artists. That's what we are. And there's a specific population, there's a lot, but there's a specific population who will value what we do. And it is okay for someone to come into your store or to comment or to say something and to say, I don't understand why on earth is that so expensive? Why on earth, why is, for example, let's see, why is this scarf $180? Well, you know, people are gonna say, people are gonna say things like that. And no, that's why you have to know your values. You have to know when you price something, you have to be certain. I know this is why it is. I know this is the price it is because of me, because of what I just gave to this item, because this is what I am because this is what my time is worth. This is what my knowledge and all those years of experience and all those years of bleeding fingers from drum carters and from ripped jeans from getting caught on the wire making your, your rabbit cages if you make them yourself, all those years of experience. And I mean, you guys, if you're rabbit raisers, you're gonna know this, like all these, all these scratches on your arms that you, you didn't wear your long sleeves when you picked up your rabbit, that's why my item is priced this, because I have given my blood, sweat, and tears to my project, to my this. And you will never find, ever, another this in your life. You can't find this anywhere else. That's why. So you may watch this and you may say, I don't agree with that, or what about this, or what about that? This isn't an all-encompassing video. I tried to make this, you gotta keep this short, otherwise I could ramble on for like a whole day about this. There, there's so many components to pricing. But these are the main things when I think of the question, how much should I price this item? These are the main points. These are the main answers, the main things that pop into my head that I would give forth as an answer. And to everybody who is out there, who has their own fiber arts business, has their own rabbitry, who has their own whatever, handmade whatever, I wish you success. And uh, comment below, let me know what was helpful about this video and what would you add? What would you add when someone else asks you, what is it, you know, for pricing? What, what would you price this? How do I price this? What's your advice? Because like I said, this video doesn't cover it all. And uh, if you found this video helpful, ever so often I do make videos like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button with the little bell. That way it gives me all sorts of love and support and I can give love and support back to everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.